When it hits 3 a.m. and I can't get to sleep, I usually find myself sitting down in front of my computer to play one game. One game that has been there for well over a decade now, a game that feels like home, a game that I can find comfort in, and a place that feels familiar. Skyrim is a game that I can truly escape to. Skyrim has been that home away from home since I was the ripe age of 11. Now that I'm a few years into my 20s, there's a lot more that I find myself stressing over compared to when I was in 7th grade. I'm glad to say I still find myself retreating to this amazing 12-year-old game to seek comfort. I first experienced this game at a few friends' houses, and at the time it wasn't really something I was interested in. I didn't really understand what the game entailed, but then I borrowed the game from a friend and got to playing. I never looked back. All it took for me to get hooked on the game was just trying it out for myself. Skyrim is a platform, a platform to be whatever you want. It's in your hands to fulfill whatever adventure you dream of. It's a game where you can make friends along the way and get tangled in wars between factions. Skyrim lets you decide what you want to be and who you want to follow. This world exists without the player. It's entirely your choice if you want to get involved in the politics of the civil war that the people are facing. There are hundreds of stories and plots all taking place at once, and it isn't overwhelming in the slightest. I've been playing this game for over a decade now, and there are still stories and quests that I have yet to discover. It amazes me. I think you can truly understand a game's value once it has stood the test of time. To say that Skyrim is still loved and played in 2023 is an understatement. The game exists on almost every platform imaginable and has a community that keeps it alive and well. I see Skyrim on my social media pages every day. The amount of relatable memes that the community pumps out is astounding. It's a great game that is still alive and recognizable in gaming culture today, even to the younger generation. The people that grew up with Skyrim are now much older and have new fond appreciations for the game as well, like myself. I really wanted to sit down and talk about Skyrim because of how important it is to me and how much of a role it has played in my gaming life. Really, the first word that comes to mind when I think of this game is comfort. It's not a game that induces stress or panic. Skyrim is a game that allows you to relax and truly forget the outside world. Apart from that, it's a fantastic game that broke new ground for the open world genre. I have yet to play a title that holds as much content and personality as Skyrim. I really don't understand how Bethesda managed to pull this game together. They were able to put this game together in about six to seven years. It's a respectable amount of time for a game to be in development, but they really made use of their time and created something that they themselves were big fans of. Now obviously this game has had a lot of new life pumped into it through the amazing mods that the community has put together. Bethesda has fully embraced this and added mod menus into the menu of the base game, so players on console can browse thousands of mods and install them with ease. This feature fundamentally can make every single playthrough different from the last. All the endless possibilities I just talked about are extended further because of these modding features. It always surprises me to find people who have never played Skyrim, because it is one of the greatest games of all time in my opinion, and it has such a huge presence in the ranks of legendary video game titles. To those who have never played Skyrim, I know, it looks campy and cheesy and laughable. I get it, the AI can be clunky and hilariously bad at times, but longtime players, this adds character to the game, and that very comfort that I was talking about earlier, this is it. It also seems like Bethesda only had five voice actors on their payroll because every damn character in this game sounds the exact same from the last. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. But diehard fans have come to love and understand the flaws in Skyrim, and that adds many layers of appreciation. It's hard to put my finger on why I love this game so much. This is one of the hardest videos I've done, and for a strange reason, it's difficult to describe why you love something so much. 
I think it's the freedom and versatility that Skyrim offers. I can start a new save as a mage who practices conjuring spells, and it will be an entirely new experience. You have to understand that whatever style you choose will set your experience apart from someone else's. Usually I loosely follow the story and plot that's laid out until I come across something more interesting, and you most definitely will. There are countless amounts of factions and guilds and bands that you can get caught up in. Every single one will offer you something different and unique, including some short stories that you can play out from start to finish. Most editions of Skyrim include all of the DLC now, so that brings the total amount of playable quests in the game to 346, an absolute unprecedented amount of content, like nothing I've ever seen in gaming before. I just don't see that value in games anymore, especially considering that new AAA titles here in Canada will run you about $90 and in some cases even more. I wanted to make a video on this special game because as someone who has a gaming YouTube channel it just seems weird to not address a game that is so special to me. Skyrim will always be there when times get rough and I'm just forever grateful to Bethesda. It seems like ages ago that The Elder Scrolls 6 was announced and it seems like the majority of gamers are becoming impatient and frustrated with how little we know about it. Personally, I'm pretty scared. There are incredibly large shoes to fill. I doubt The Elder Scrolls 6 will top Skyrim, mainly because every single one of Bethesda's recent projects haven't lived up to their foreseen potential. Many of them crashed and burned upon launch. I think Bethesda feels the pressure, the weight, the importance of nailing Elder Scrolls 6. All hope will be lost if they don't get it right. Maybe the success or failure of Starfield will give us some insight if they've truly lost their way or not. If you have yet to experience Skyrim, then do yourself a favor and give it a try. It could just be that title to revitalize your passion for gaming. At Skyrim's core, it's extremely simple. It reminds me why I love gaming and why many of us escape to games in times of high stress. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a quick little tribute uh, to Skyrim because it's it's a game that I love and cherish. And it's, it's hard to make a video on a game that's 10 years old and a game that is as huge as Skyrim. Everything that there is to be said about Skyrim has already been said. So I just wanted to just put my two cents out there and uh, make my love for the game official here on the YouTube channel. I, I adore this game, and if you haven't played it, you should definitely give it a try. And I definitely understand it's not for everyone, but if you're a fan of gaming, this is one of the greatest games of all time. It's up there with all the other gaming legends. So that's all, guys. I just really wanted to pay tribute to Skyrim today and let you guys know how special it is to me and how special of a game I think it is. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and enjoying this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy gaming.